Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. Leisure Suit Larry 2. Yeah, you've been on a long, uh, pretty long little journey here. This is the part where I start getting really, really, what's the word? Oh, yeah, really worried that I don't have everything that I need from the beginning parts of the game to complete. But I uh, check in my inventory. I'm fairly certain we're good. Matches, hair rejuvenator, and a vine is all we have. Even our wad of money is gone. Ooh, that's bad. Did I lose that during the uh, free fall? Mm, probably. Oh, well, mm, whatever. Okay, well, our goal is to get to the volcano behind here and then save the day and get married to the lovely... Ca Why am I talking like that? Anyway, it should be fairly obvious. We got this tree up here and we got to put the vine on it and swing over, blah, blah, blah. But I'm kind of worried that it's going to pull a King's Quest V on us. And it's like, oh, what branch do you want to throw it on? This one or this one? Herb, herb. Because this one's going to break and this one will be fine. Herb. Why am I being so mean spirited today? All right. Throw vine. Maybe that'll do it. There we go. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, look, a helicopter. There's a lot of air traffic here for remote tropical island. I wonder... Well, while that's doing its thing, let's see if we can line ourselves up for a shot. It's going to make me get right up on the edge, isn't it? Throw... Vine. There we go. Oh, it's going to break. Oh, no. I'm good. We made it. And... You set forth on your mission to explore the unknown mountain before you, knowing full well that you will never be able to return this way again. What lies before you? How will you be able to climb the icy glacier? Will you find the evil doctor's mountaintop fortress? Will you destroy the evil doctor Nonuki? Will you return to your beloved Kalualua? Kal Kalal I forgot how to pronounce it already. Kalalua? Kal Kalalua? Kalalua. Hmm. Mudslides. Will you find love? Will you find happiness? Will you stop asking these questions and get out of the game? Got it. Alright, what do we do here? Just an obvious path, but what's this black thing? Looks like some kind of hieroglyph? Evidently, some of the island's rocks were part of the ancient fertility ceremony. Wonderful. Is it supposed to look like anything? I don't know. What's this plant? Looks dangerous. It's a member of the fern family and one of the first true trees. Its species is over 300 million years old. Since most of the jokes of this game come from the same era, it seems appropriate. Oh, Al, you're so self-reverential. You know what? I think I forgot something. Hang on. Okay. I can't leave this screen. Is this a bug? Well, if I forgot something, I, there's nothing I can do about it now. Hang on. All right. You had no way of knowing, but I think I'm remembering something. I'm going to go back a bit. I believe you need either some sand or some of the ashes from the fire pit. To continue, and I'll show you why. Do I get points for getting both? You bend over the fire pit and scoop up huge handfuls of ashes, completely filling all of your pockets with them. You don't know why, but you do. And I think you can do the same thing with the sand. I sure do. You bend over and scoop up a large handful of beach sand and put it in your pockets. Great. Never know when you're going to need both in an adventure game. All right, back to it. Ha ha, guys, making me get right up on the edge, jerks. All right, so here's our problem, slippery ice. Neep, deep, deep, look out, blurb. Ow. That thankfully doesn't kill you because, I mean, you, it, it would just be so awful. And these glaciers on the side really have kind of a, uh, a Red Sea pedestrian kind of vibe to it. Let my nookie go. However, if you spread your ashes or uh, sand, I think either or it will work, on the glacier, it'll act as a melting thing. Broiling tropical sun strikes the black ashes you took from the village campfire and quickly melts the snow, revealing... Ooh, refrigeration coils. <gasps> you immediately realize the meaning. Dr. No Nookie has created a glacier on the side of the volcano in the middle of the tropics to prevent the island natives from disturbing his evil doings. What power, what force... What an asshole. You made it. That's actually kind of clever. If you keep this up, you're going to be a hero yet, Larry. Now, all you have to do is scale the sheer vertical basaltic cliffs of the volcano, reach its crater, and attempt to discover the entrance to the evil Dr. No Nookie's impenetrable <laughs> fortress so you can learn what lies inside. Well, the scaling part's not so hard. Mouse, lead the way. Whoop. Wait a minute. Never noticed those clouds before. 
You look through a hole in the rock and see just a cloud. Why? Do you think you see something? What? No, nothing? No, I don't see anything. What are you talking about? Well, scaling the sheer basaltic cliffs was not that big a deal. All right, I'm starting to panic because I don't, I'm pretty sure I know what to do. I just know I'm going to die a lot trying to do it. Uh... You have reached the summit of Nun Tonight Volcano. An elephant can congruously, ooh, there's a word you don't use very often, awaits you. Steam rises from the volcanic crevice. The ground feels highly unstable. Finally, you remember Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, that was back when earthquakes happened every, what, 10 minutes? It's controlled from within, and there's no way to get you to get them to open it. Wow, awkward sentence. Thanks, Al. Okay, hmm. I think if I try to open it, I die, but... No, actually, nope, I can't do anything with it. All right, the, the answer lies within this hole here. As best as you can tell from this angle, the crevice ends several hundred feet below you. Better save your game before walking closer. Wow, some actual good advice from this game. Thank you. Now, I think the goal is to make a kind of Molotov cocktail out of this incredibly flammatory and inflammatory, inflammable, whatever the word is. Oh, it's right there, inflammable. Molotov cocktail uh, and with this, the matches. and But I think you need some sort of fabric to like stuff in it. Maybe I might be wrong. Let's just see what happens if you just drop it. All right, let's see if this works. You toss the bottle of hair rejuvenator into the deep crevice. It finally reaches the bottom and breaks harmlessly on the jagged rocks, making quite a mess but accomplishing nothing. You just threw away the only hope you had of saving this island from the evil doctor. Game over. Ah. Hmm. What can I use for fabric? Or do I just light it on fire? Let's find out here. Use matches on bottle. Uh-oh. You open up the bottle of hair rejuvenator, light one of your matches, then drop it inside. You wonder to yourself, is that a disk drive I hear? Hmm. Yeah, we need a wick. Yeah, there it is. Why not try using a wick? Oh boy, what do I use? Uh, I have a feeling my fears were completely founded. Uh, I don't. Fuck. There it is. Okay, I, I looked everywhere, but th this I, I forgot to re-pick up the airsick bag and the airplane before whatever happened. I, I don't even know how that happened. I guess I died too many times and just, just got distracted. Okay, got it. Well, that means we have to do all this crap again. Ugh. Oh, let's hope that's the last time I have to do that. Watch me forget something else at like the very beginning of the game. I'm going to shoot myself. Okay, and then when and only when you are standing within about, oh, I don't know, five pixels in this one little area on top of this one little crevice where one small move will throw you down to your death, are you allowed to put the bag in the bottle? See, what killed me with literally and figuratively, well, not literally, but uh, in an extreme figurative sense when I was younger, is that I knew you had to make a Molotov cocktail. And how I knew what a Molotov cocktail was when I was, I don't know, like when was I playing this, like 14, um, knew what a Molotov was. But I was here. So, yeah, let's put the bag in the bottle now. And then we'll get up here. We'll let it on fire and then drop it. But, no, you can only do that when you're standing in the position to actually drop the thing. Which made me think, it's like, okay, I'm not allowed to do it. So maybe that's the wrong answer. And then I just gave up. And I didn't finish the game for God knows how long until the advent of the internet and uh, walkthroughs and so on and so forth allowed me gracefully to be able to beat this freaking... Anyway, I'm calm. Let's do it. You insert the air sick bag into the neck of the bottle of the hair rejuvenator. There it is. So now you're just there holding it. So that's probably why it just starts this animation cycle. And with this steam coming up, it really looks like I'm farting up a storm. Oh, God, I can't wait till Leisure Suit Larry 7. It's my favorite. I don't know why I'm just reminded of that. Oh, I know why. Because of the scene where you have to eat the beans. And uh, no, no, Okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. There we go. You are now holding a bottle full of highly flammable liquid with a burning wick made from an air sick bag. Yes, really. And you have to drop it fast because it will blow up in your hands. You dispatch your Larry Tough cocktail on its merry mission with a hearty grunt. Eh. And... Ooh, you 
feel a deep rumbling as the homemade bomb explodes, weakening an old lava tube deep within the earth. This could be extremely dangerous. I think that's the last thing I actually have to do, but uh, my score is nowhere near 100%, but whatever. The force of the explosion has also caused the elevator door to open. That's my cue. I think... I think this is the game messing with you because you die if you go down the shaft. Am I wrong? Maybe? I saved recently. Going down. As you start to push the closed door button, you notice that there is no closed door button inside this elevator. Say, there are no buttons on this elevator at all. In fact, there's not even a floor. Oh, shit! Okay, so this is what you're supposed to do. Shay! Once again, Larry, you're getting the shaft! Team Rocket, blast off at the satellite! As you plummet through the darkness of the elevator shaft, the evil Dr. No Nookie is enjoying another blissful evening at home, singing jazz standards with his backup singers, the Henchettes, at his personal piano bar. Is they Are they singing this song because there's a picture of a banana here? I don't know. And why are their hands sticking out of the walls? That's weird. It's very, uh, oh, what was that Beauty and the Beast movie with, uh, oh, wait. Suddenly, you explode from the elevator shaft onto the scene. Whee! Hey, hey, I'm gonna, whoa, high five, staggering to your feet. You inadvertently slap a fast low five on the hand extending from the wall. Uh-oh, you've discovered the secret activator for the Fortress's Peacemaker self-defense control panel. Whoa. Struggling to regain your balance, you fall onto the auto-fire button. Stop! Screams Dr. No Nookie, but it's too late. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I've caused lots of havoc. The girls don't seem to mind. They're just kind of chilling out there. Elisa Beam strikes the large Italian marble column near the grand piano. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, Dr. No Nookie, we hardly knew you. You did it! You did it, Larry! You destroyed the evil Dr. No Nookie! Oh, I almost got full score and rank big hero! Look at me! That's a big upgrade from Shamil. Oh, Dr. No Nookie, we all we all know where you belong. Come on, bitch! Remembering that Dr. No Nookie kidnapped and hypnotized the island's innocent native women, you realize you must break his spell before they can return to the village. Snap out of it, girls! He's gone forever. Never again will we be forced to do his evil deeds. Now you're free to return to your native selves. On the count of three, you will awaken refreshed and be able to remember everything that's happened to you. One, two, three. And somehow that works. Freed at last from the hypnotic trance of the evil doctor, the women liberate themselves, resuming their native ways. And of course, the first thing they do, yeah, of course, yeah, there they go. Huzzah! Huzzah! They shout, it's Larry! Ha ha! Larry Laffer, our hero! You interrupt their celebration with, it's nice of you to say so, but we must leave here immediately. I had to force the elevator door by dropping a bomb onto the volcano, and I'm afraid it may erupt at any moment. Where's the radio telephone? It's right behind you, they all apparently say on in unison. I knew that. It's covered in blood. You grab the telephone and press the big talk button. Mayday! Mayday! This is the big laugher calling. Can I get a copy off from any good buddy? You often slip back into the 70s without even trying. Catching yourself, you continue. I'm inside Nuntonite Island's volcano in a fortress hollowed out of solid rock and filled with beautiful, oversexed women recently stripped to the waist. I've just killed a maniacal, power-hungry, money-grubbing scientist who was trying to grab my uncle a few minutes ago. I dropped a homemade bomb into the crevice that will cause the volcano to erupt. Do you realize how stupid you sound? Is anybody listening? Over. Roger, big laugher. We copy. What kind of help do you need? Over. Hello, hey, who is this? Are you nearby? Can you come immediately? Over. This is Dwayne Barker of Software Illustrated Magazine. We're right below you on the beach, none tonight island, shooting our annual swimsuit issue. We'll be glad to fly up in our helicopter to rescue you. Is there any way you could create some kind of uh, signal to let me know where you are? Uh, you glance around at the large computer panel to your right. How about if I uh, have some palm trees emit a cloud of fog to surround the island, then turn off the island's main waterfall and open a gigantic hangar door in the side of the volcano? Uh, uh over. Yeah, I guess that ought to do it. So I'll see you in about two minutes. Over and out. Over and out, good buddy. You have a little trouble deciphering the control panel for the island's camouflage system. Um, anybody know how to work this fog machine? 
Ah, what the hell. Pushing everything at least once couldn't hurt. Eh. Oh, great hero of our island, says one of the women. Come over here and allow us to give you a proper triumphant return to our people. Oh, wow, you mighty strong. Thank you. Say, aren't you coming with us? Of course not. I really don't have a part here. I'm just a piano player, but allow me to introduce myself. My name is Patty. Polyester Patty, the internationally renowned recording artist and queen of the women's singles scene. You want to watch for me and Leisure Suit Larry 3? Who will e You ignore this blatant plug. She will go on to be a uh, passionate Patty and become a brunette uh, in all subsequent games. Hooray, equality! Watch the head. Ow! Meanwhile, outside. Oh, that's the double 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 sound. And only lasts for a second. I'm fine. Thanks for a lot for dropping down the stairs. Hurry up and get in the helicopter. No thanks. They yelled out the stairs. We use the back door and take all chances with the glacier. A.K.A. we don't feel like animating for other people. Come on, big laugher, says the pilot. Climb aboard. What's this control panel do? Can I fiddle with it? It looks like a diskette. Sorry, I had a little trouble with that fog machine. Hey, thanks for the lift, guys. You want to stick around for my wedding? Sure, why not? We'll grab a camcorder and be right there. Watch out for that blade. <laughs> Worst game over ever. Still seven points shy. I'm so disappointed. Hi, Larry. What took you so long? I ran into a little trouble with an artificial glacier. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> I did it, Kalalalalalalo. I really did it. Dr. No Nookie is no more. His evil spell is broken. The glacier is melting away and your women are free again. Once again, peace reigns over this beautiful island. Let's find your father and get married immediately. I'll go get Daddy. You notify the village. Have everyone assemble before the witch doctor's hut. Oh, Larry, I'm so excited. Just think, I'm busy. Mrs. Larry. Ha ha ha. Miss Larry Laffer. Oh, a happy ending at last. Friends, natives, countrymen, lend me your ears. You're off to an original start. People of none tonight. The evil Dr. No Nookie is gone forever. Your women have been freed and returning here now, and you are free once again to travel wherever you wish. Since I have met all the conditions of Chief Kenny Wow Wow, la 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 la, and I will be married. Please assemble for the wedding. We are the muffled sounds of cheers. <laughs> Boo. Hey. Ooh, the entire village has turned out for the wedding of their princess to the white suited stranger. The drummer begins his special stylized rendition of the theme from Wagner's Longgren. Which doctor is waiting for you to move into position to await the entrance of your, your betrothed? In comes your beloved la 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 on the arm of a father. Uh. Who gives this woman to marry this man? That'll be me, says Chief Kenny Wow Wow. Kenny Wow Wow, very well. Turning to you, the witch doctor asks, N. Do you have a ring? You know, there was a ring in the land of the lounge lizards, but I never thought to bring it along here. Uh, can I get a what? Never mind. Let's begin following the traditions of our people. You let the beat drop. You must now spin in a circle to your dizzy and throw up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now smash this wedding cake into your beloved's face. I think they're just messing with us at this point. We didn't vomit. Blarg. 
This is a really interesting culture. And finally, moonwalk across this dirt compound. Got it. Is this really necessary? Yes. Every single step of it. Go. Not bad. Not bad at all. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Villagers go, ah. Now, Larry, we'd like to welcome you to our family. Look at it this way. You now have a village full of in-laws. Oh, some sort of magical thing. What are they doing? Whoop, whoop, oh, photo op. Get it. Oh, is he the one who made the cupids at the beginning? That explains everything. Larry, my son, at this time, I would like to give you a special wedding present in my hut. Please walk this way. Oh, I thought that was Kenny Wawa saying, if I walk that way, I'd be in the maitre d'. Ha, <laughs> call back. Oh, no. Don't know which Dr. Hutts look alike. This is, all right, that's kind of funny. Just a moment, Larry, while I'm ready this special preparation. It's strong bad. What's he doing? Sir? What? What's, what just happened? Okay, come on over here. I have no idea. Did you just like pour it on the floor? Whoop, dip, 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 dip. I'm a bunny. Great. Well, at least we'll be able to reproduce. No, yeah. Kicks like a mule, baby. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm a bunny. We, we already saw that one. We already saw that. There we go. Jeez, that's some powerful stuff. Here, says the witch doctor. Take a look at this mirror and tell me what you think. Oh, you did it. You really did it. That's actually not too bad. You're, you're, you're pretty when you smile, Larry. Still didn't give me the seven points I needed. This is great. I look like a young man again. I'm stranded in paradise, broke, but happy. And the most beautiful woman I've ever seen is madly in love with me. My dreams have all come true. Something tells me this is too good to last. Oh, look at my hair flowing in the breeze. I have hair again. And now it's time for copulation. Oh, oh, that's right. That was supposed to explode. So we weren't really that much of a hurry after all. It, it exploded in like, I don't know, about 12 hours or so. Why is the moon green? What planet are we on? This looks like the, um, like that negaverse from King, oh, Kalima in King's Quest II. Weird. As we leave our hero cavorting in the sand with his new love, we ask ourselves the burning question. Is women's leb really dead? Is there still a feminist movement? Is there a market for... What? Rallo have to... Um... Those were weird questions to ask. Oh, there they go. Ba-bam, ba-bam. Alright, and... I guess that's it. We don't actually get a real the end or anything like that. It's just uh, Larry and Kalalalala -la 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 doing it in the bushes for all eternity. Well, it's good to see that the volcano back there is uh, fairly benign. It's not really doing anything. The lava didn't reach it more than about halfway, so damage is nothing. <laughs> the green moon reflects lovely in the lagoon, and the pink sand is, well, being sullied. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of Leisure Suit Larry 2. So. Again, nice contrast to the first game, which is pretty much like, let's go out and get laid. Whereas this one is, let's go out and find love. And he does it. And he does it. It's a little bit weird and deus ex the way it happens, but it all, can, we, can you guys stop doing, thank you. I'll just pause that. That's weird. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. Anyway, so and now in the third game, which we'll be doing next, of course, because uh, we like to do things sequentially here on planet Earth. We'll be continuing on the story. We got to hit the big old red reset button because in all things in Larry's life, it is just too good to last. Much like Larry. So Larry, good luck to you as long as it lasts. And until the next game, as always, good night, jelly beans. Good night.